hi, I'm Billy D. Teacher, and welcome to my channel here on YouTube. First of all, I have a question for you today. There's something different about me or something new about me. What is it? Post what you think it is. I will give you the answer in on Sunday's video. Supreme Court nominee Sony So Meyer firmly denied racial bias Tuesday in her, at her Senate confirmation hearing. Attempt play on words fell flat in a speech in 201, she told Senator Jeff Sessions, Republican of Alabama, referring to remarks in which she, she suggested that a wise Latino woman would usually reach a better conclusion than a white male. Why are some prejudiced, why is it okay for some people to be prejudiced or make prejudiced remarks and not others? Back when I was in high school, in the 1980s, you know, you kids know that was back when we had horses and buggies, and not. but back when I was in high school in the 1980s, a history teacher of mine was asked by a student if she could do something like run, run the film projector, do they even have those anymore, you know, do that. And his response to her was, I might even let a white student do it. Now if that comment had been made about some groups such as blacks, or homosexuals, there would have been calls for my teacher to be fired, and he probably would have had to step down. However, as far as I know, nothing happened to this high school teacher. And none of us, nobody, as far as I know, again, put up a big complaint or filed charges or yelled racism or anything. Now I know, so why, and my question is, why is some prejudice okay and some not? Now I know the chances are pretty good that this lady, this judge, will be confirmed to the High Court. However, the Republican centers need to show us that she is a judge which will legislate from the bench. Show us what she's done, her record. She has a record. Also, why, why do her hearings seem so nice? Do any of you recall what happened to Judge Clarence Thomas? I recall it looked like he was going to be confirmed no problem, and then those on the left dug up some charges which were never proven. Then of course there was a borking of Robert Bork. So I guess what comes around doesn't go around as far as the Demo Senate Democrats go. The NEA, the National Education Association, recently held its annual convention in San Diego, California. Well, members voted on two important culture issues. One of those issues was whether the union would support same-sex marriage. According to the co-founder of the Conservative Education Educators Caucus, the resolution passed by roughly a two-thirds majority. Then there was a vote on a resolution for the NEA to take a no take a no position stance on the issue of abortion. That proposal was voted down 61% to 39%. Please explain to me if you can, what does supporting same-sex marriage and the right to abortion have to do with making our government schools better and helping children? Today's schools have so many problems. The NEA should focus on what will help the kids the most. I feel bad for the good teachers who are trying their best to help students and to do their jobs right, but instead of the NEA helping them, their union focus on, focuses on issues which have nothing to do with making the schools better and helping the kids. It's time for conservative teachers and moderate teachers to drop out of the NEA. It's not good when students drop out of school. However, a drop out by teachers from the NEA would be a good thing. One last note, if the health care plan the President Obama and the Democrats want to give us, actually force down us, if that plan is so good, why aren't Obama and those in the Congress and in the House and the Senate going to be forced to be in the same plan like the rest of us? That's a question you might want to ask your Congressman, your Senator, the President. I've sent that comment to uh, to at least one of my senators, and I tried to send to the other, but the email wasn't working. But anyway, send, uh, you might ask that question. So good, why aren't you guys going to be under it? 
Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Post any comments you have on any of the topic or guess what was new different about me today. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, I'm Billy. I'll see you.